I would like to be in possession of one of these signs right here to hang on my wall in my office. I think that would be really cool. Alright guys, so there's a lot of people out here filming the Kmarts now being that we just had that recent closing list and uh, you know I've had a lot of requests to come out and film them myself so that's what I'm doing today running around filming among other other things uh, a bunch of Kmarts so today I am in Brunswick Ohio and I gotta tell you it was pretty surreal coming down the highway and seeing this big K sign knowing that within two months we're not gonna be seeing it anymore now of course it'll probably stay up for a while but within two months the store is gonna be closed and here it is, right up here. This is the Brunswick, Ohio Kmart. This is one that's on the recent closing list. So we're gonna go ahead inside. We're gonna walk around and just get, you know, a last look at the store as a fully functional big Kmart. All these things that we're seeing right now as we walk up to this store are things that shortly we are never going to see again. And that's just absolutely crazy. I mean, it is ridiculous. To think that, you know, very soon, Kmart's will be completely gone. Those signs will be down soon. And of course, the big K sign will be down soon, too. It's actually pretty dirty up there. It's probably all bird crap, because look at all those birds. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> all these things will be removed and completely gone from here. And they'll be selling these carts off for about five bucks a piece in a couple months here. I don't know exactly when this store is closing, but it's sometime in December from what I understand. Look at the birds up there, that's funny. <laughs> There's so many of them, they love the big K. <laughs> guys this is one thing I was uh, curious about was whether these Kmart's were gonna have uh, Halloween stuff and this one does have a few things I assume this stuff got delivered like right before the announcement not much a few things up here not a whole lot You can always find a ghost face mask everywhere. <laughs> Let's just go look around at some of these things that are pretty descriptive of the Kmart. Of course, we got the price scanners here. This one's working. $8.99 for a card. Let's just take a walk through each of these uh, areas here. Just get a shot at what it looks like right now. The only clearance signs I see so far are on the end caps. I don't see any signs about going out of business or anything. Yeah, everything is still pretty well stocked in here, but you can see, you know, some things are selling out. And as they do, they're not restocking them. Back here is Layaway. We'll go take a look at this. 
Look at this, guys. Think about how Kmart used to be their electronics center, and this is it right here. This is their electronics center right here. Here's your layaway. And of course, they're not accepting any more layaways now. There's that sign. It'll be down soon. Nobody working back here. Going to be a thing of the past. I'm curious to see if we can find any Kmart buckets in here. You know, they have like the big five gallon buckets. Oh, I got that blocked off there. <laughs> I thought we could go around, but let's go over here and look for these things. Doesn't look like they have any. I think the last ones I found were at uh, the North Canton Kmart. We might go over there today, too. This was the garden center here, and it's blocked off now. I want it. How many of you guys remember watching my Super Kmart video from Warren Niles? Kristen's cart. If you remember Kristen's cart, give me a thumbs up right now. <laughs> I should have bought it. I regret it to this day. Now guys, I've never been in this one before, so I don't know what this area was back here that they have blocked off. But I would guess that's probably where it was like the cafe or Little Caesars. If anybody knows, if you're familiar with this store, let me know. I'm curious. The big Kenmore signs up here. K carts. It's strange to think that soon you'll be able to stand in this one place here and do this same movement and see wall to wall with nothing, no merchandise whatsoever. And you know, a lot of people ask me like, what is the big, uh, the big interest in this stuff? And you know, for one thing, it's like you become attached to these places. You grow up with these places. We all grew up shopping at Kmart. You know, so everything that we see in here, look at this blue light sign. That's one of the things. We all remember the blue light specials. And everything that we see in here is just we relate to it. You know, the fitting rooms, the colors, the layaway. Every time you see a red K, we're never gonna think of a red K in the same way. It's Kmart to us. So to see something like this just disappearing out of the retail landscape is just crazy. And you know, on another note, not even just being Kmart, but anywhere you go, any stores that you go to, you're never supposed to see these places um, as an empty building. You know what I mean? You're only supposed to see it like this, as a fully functional business, stocked with merchandise, people walking around, the music you hear above, the announcements, you know, just, this is how you're supposed to see it. You're not supposed to see a retail establishment empty from wall to wall with scars 
of, uh, of these aisles and everything. You know, soon they'll be removing all of this stuff. And all you will see is the scars of these lanes. Surprisingly, I have not seen a call box anywhere, so let's look for one. They should be on these, uh, these poles around here. Got another price scanner here. But I've not seen a call box anywhere. That is really strange. I mean, I highly doubt they've already started removing them. But you never know. Here's the department with all the baby stuff. Car seats, diapers, nursery furniture, clothes for boys, women's clothes straight ahead. Here's cribs and everything. Yep, all of this will be gone, guys. This is one of the last times that you're going to see this store stocked up like this. Let's continue on our quest for a call box. <laughs> That just blows me away that they are not on every post. Well, not every post, but a lot of them. Here's some jewelry on clearance. Hmm. Well, this was a call box. They've taken that one down. I mean, it kind of doesn't surprise me. Yep, here's a location of the other one. Yeah, in a way that doesn't surprise me that they've taken them down already because obviously they're not going to be as attentive anymore to people shopping. They're probably laying people off. And, uh, you know, they just don't have the staff anymore to be that attentive. Let's keep looking. I'm, I'm curious if we'll find one. There's another price scanner. That, of course, doesn't require any actual employees to do anything. Yeah, there's very minimal clearance on things throughout the store here in just different areas. But there are no big banners or uh, big signs going out of business or anything yet. You know, just little things like this. A little bit in the jewelry section and things like that. Nothing major, though. Oh my god, guys, there's a call box. <laughs> the only one I've seen in the entire store. Amazing. Let's go check out the toy section over here. Look at this. Hello, lion. <laughs> yep, all the toys are totally stocked still. <laughs> Lots of stuff in here. Here's another price scanner. Apparently that one doesn't work. Let's see if we can find a call box over here. Nope, they have removed them from almost everywhere in the store. Even when you're looking around the store, up on the poles. 
you should be able to see a sign that says, uh, you know, ask for help or whatever. I can't think of what it says right offhand, but there are none of those, just the price scanners. And then at the end of our tour, as always, we have the thank you for shopping at Kmart. Alright guys, so that was inside the Big K. I want to take a walk around here though to the other side and see if the prison yard is here or if, you, if they even have one. Like I said, you know, I'm not familiar with this particular Kmart, but, uh, but, the, but the garden center was blocked off in there, so we couldn't see anything. I'm just curious. And this is another thing about these Kmarts, guys, that you don't even realize that you're attached to. That style of brickwork on the front. Okay. Yep, there's the prison yard over there. Apparently they have some kind of a muffler and brake uh, center on this end right here now. I don't think it's related to Kmart though. Oh. Look at that. That is sweet. Anyways, back to Kmart. <laughs> yeah, here's the old garden center, the prison yard. Old stray carts out here. Makes me think of the movie Wally. -E. Not Wally -E B26. He's my best friend. <laughs> but yeah, look at this. That used to be doors, glass doors that came out here, and there was B all kinds of uh, outdoor stuff for sale. Gardening and things like that. Now, I don't know how long this part has been closed down. It actually looks like it's been quite a while. But that's what happens to these places. I just wanna go around here a second and see how big it is. Yeah, it stretches around the back a little bit there. But that's it guys, that's the prison yard here at Brunswick Kmart. Just amazing to see these places in this kind of condition, you know, knowing what they once were. All right guys, well thank you for coming on this tour with me of the Kmart. I hope that it's pleasing to everyone who's asking me to do these. Like I said, I know there's a lot of people out here filming the Kmarts now. But we all have kind of a different take on it, you know, there's there's room for everybody to be out here doing this. And the important thing right now, especially with the Kmarts, is that we get out here and document them for what they are still. Because they are going to be gone. I mean, think about it. There were like 80, 81 closures in this most recent list. One more list and they could all be gone. I mean, any day now they could just be like, that's it. Kmart and Sears wiped out. So get out there and document them, guys. All right. I'll see you later. Peace out.